mind, short-sighted, narrow-minded hypocrites. All I want is the truth. But just give me some truth. Tired of hearing things from uptight, short sighted, narrow minded hypocritics. All I want is the truth. Just give me some truth. I'm sick and tired of. From uptight, short-sighted, narrow-minded hypocrites All I want is the truth Just give me some truth I like this guy's version a lot better than these guys. I mean, these guys didn't put any soul into it. You know what I'm saying? So, I got a question for you. So, um, you notice here I, I did a, a search for Flat Earth and I, I did, a, you know, the, the recent thing there, the filter, recent filter thing there, and oh boy, this thing's hot, hotter than dog biscuits. The thing is, I already proved that the earth is not flat it's bumpy alright but I got a question for all these guys here got a question for every single one of them uh, because they all pose themselves as truth seekers alright now you as a truth seeker let's say you're one of those do you believe the Bible do you believe that Jesus Christ laid down his life for you and if you don't then tell me tell me what the truth is what happens when you die who's gonna save you from death all right, let me share a couple of verses I want you to dispute. Matthew 1, verse 21, it says, it says uh, She, talking about Mary, shall bring forth a son, <clears throat> and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now, make no mistake about it every one of us are guilty of sin the only way we can become guiltless before God is if we put our faith in him who has covered our sin who laid down his life for our sin so are you trusting in yourself or are you trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ? Because these are polar opposites. Now, consider this. Hebrews 4. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul 
and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now consider, what are you going to do to save yourself from death? It, look, you're going to die. The day is coming. You can't hide it. You can't ignore it. You're going to die. That's the grim reality that we all face. If there's any hope for you, then you got to put your faith and your hope in the Lord Jesus Christ who has done it all to cover all of your inequities. All of your sins are covered by Him so that we might have life. He has given His life that we might obtain eternal life. Now you want to dispute that? Go ahead. Just admit that you're going to die and you're not going to have eternal life. You're going to die and you're going to be dead forever. Every moment of your life is in constant torment and fear that that moment will come. And it will come. Make no mistake about it. And uh, we are promised salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no salvation in any other. There is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right, think about it. Uh, you're big on you're big on uh, you know the truth well, the truth is you're gonna die and who's gonna save you from your sins look at all these people are they really truth seekers if they're gonna die and go to hell and not have eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ what kind of truth is in them really are they jumping on the bandwagon are they trying to be hip and cool trying to be groovy or are they really after the truth and is there anything more important than the truth? It's a serious question.